everyone, welcome. It's Sue's Cooking and it is the afternoon and I am gonna make some cold brew coffee. So I thought I would go live and tell you all about my cold brew coffee maker. So if you've never had cold brew, you should know that it has less acid in it than hot brew because cold um, water going over the beans does not release all of the acidic part, which makes your stomach upset. So it's smoother on your stomach, and yes, you can reheat cold brew in the microwave to make a hot brew, because I do that all the time. So what is our cold brew coffee pot? Let me show you. For starters, we have this cute little silicone um, wrap around it so that if it's wet, you're not gonna drop it onto the ground. And it comes apart so that you can put this all in the dishwasher. It's just like a cute little sweater that it has on it. Um, I say about 16 cups of drive through cold brew coffee and you've paid for this pot yourself. The cover to it um, comes off and it's good for um, pouring. You can tell I'm at the end of my pot, that's why I need to make more. So what is in the filter? So we have a very, very fine mesh filter here and this is what makes it so that you can put your coffee, even fine ground in it and it won't seep through and put coffee grounds into your um, coffee. So what you're going to do is it's about maybe a cup's worth of coffee. Um, I like peach, whether I'm doing um, cold brew or French press, um, I do that. And you just want to fill uh, the bottom part of the filter, which is just this part here. And then you're just going to stick it in and then you're going to pour a gallon of, um, I use spring water, um, over the top. And then you're going to let it steep for 24 hours. So I already poured out the majority, this is what I'm going to be drinking today, um, of coffee for um, for steeping and then I'll just steep this and if you want you can just leave it in your fridge like that, which I do till I get down to the end and then I steep again. Or you can put it into a pitcher. We have the quick stir pitcher and if you want to add caramel or creamer you can make a beautiful latte out of it that way. One of the tips I give all the time um, on my virtual parties is that if you freeze leftover coffee in the tiny little bathroom Dixie cups. You're gonna get really big, great ice cubes. And I do iced tea and iced coffee in those so that come summertime, you're not watering down your iced tea or your iced coffee with actual regular ice cubes. So if you're in a virtual party right now, I want you to private message me that, that you put your ice cubes in a Dixie cup and I'll give you bonus points. And I just wanted to tell you how lovely my makeup works. My friend Abigail just did my eyes and my eyebrows and my mascara and everything today. So thanks Abigail for doing me up. Um, we're practicing with some new things and Abigail is my local uh, Mary Kay consultant. So if you need a hookup, I will put her post as well below. So thank you all for joining Sue's Cooking. I will see you online.